Hi, I'm Tiffany. Huh? Hi, I'm Tiffany. Welcome to my quilting life. If you're new to my channel, head down there, hit that thumbs up, ring the bell, sign up, all that stuff, and hang out with me while I quilt. That's what I'm going to do. After all, it is my quilting life. So, yeah, I'm waiting for the other video to start well this goes oh hey there it is let's make sure that volume is down oh you know today's just one of them days okay here we go oh look you can see me i was really hoping that i was seeable here hi patina hi kathy hi jim all right so i'm gonna leave that right there so today um well we wait for people to come on a I realize that I'm crooked probably, aren't I? But that doesn't matter because I'm going to tilt the camera anyway. Um, today I will be free motion quilting because sometimes after long periods of not quilting at all and or only long arm quilting, it's like you need a refresher and I need a refresher. Why? Because it's been a while since I free motion quilted. Not to say that it's probably going to be horrible, but not, definitely not at all going to be close to what I do on the long arm. And I'm not saying I have the best work ever, but I definitely do personally 100% better on a long arm than I do free motion quilting. I've always done better with the whole long arm and then the mid arm and all that than I have sitting down to free motion quilt. I don't know why. I don't know. It's just something that's different for me. I, I do better that way. So I'm going to refresh myself with a small baby quilt. I'm not teaching anything specific. I will go over the uh, rundown, I guess is the word for it, uh, of free motion quilting, the things you will need to free motion quilt on a domestic machine. And when I say domestic, I'm talking about my brother SQ9285. I'm not talking about using my Juki with a nine inch throat. I am using this little brother with a five inch throat. So from that needle to the arm right here, that's only five inches. And sometimes it seems like it's smaller, especially when something's jammed up in there. But um, it is possible, 100% possible, to quilt a queen size quilt on a little domestic like this. You just gotta take your time in sections and <laughs> take your time. <laughs> um, smaller quilts and pot holders and table runners and mug rugs and anything like that, those are so much easier to quilt on little machines but bigger quilts are possible. I'm not doing anything big. It's probably the, it's a baby quilt. So it's probably a shrinked, just what, take the sides off of a table runner and squish it and make a smaller rectangle instead of a big, huge, long rectangle. It's short and fat. <laughs> so I'm doing a baby quilt. Um, nothing fancy. I'm using pink thread for this because this project is pink and I'll hold it up in a second. Um, I'm going to get to comments first, see who's all here, say hi. <coughs> all right, I got Bettina, Kathy, and Jim already. Hi, Kim. Hi, June. Rachel. Hi, Nita. Gwen. Hi, Teresa Louise. Um, hi, June, the other June, because there's so many Junes. <laughs> um, let's see. Hi, Yogi, Kathleen, Nina. Hi, April. Hi, Linda. Let's see. Can only watch for a few minutes. Pool time. I haven't been able to use it for the last few days because of the smoke from the fires. Can't wait to get the exercise in the old joints. Awesome. I went swimming earlier today. Um, and it's hot outside. That's all it is. It's just hot outside. The pool felt great, but I cannot swim. I was having pain trying to over the shoulder. Oh, it's just horrible because of my neck pain. But I'll deal. I, I, de I dealt. <laughs> Um, we got BJ here, um, hope so, I need to do a caulking, uh, we got Debbie, Sharla, Rowena, Sonut, April Samayashi is trying to be able to find a chair that'll work for me, table too high and chairs are too low, yeah, so I'm going to do the rundown of my little, uh, table and chair here, I'll take the camera off of the hooky mabobber and show you what I'm working with when I do work with this machine. No fancy chair, no fancy anything. I just have this machine sitting up and I'll show you some things. So, um, let's 
see your strong tips. Let's show passive faith. I'm trying. <laughs> I'm going to show you um, just the basics. Just the if you are just starting and you're a beginner and you're just starting into the free motion quilting journey, the things that some machines come with and the things that you'll have to buy extra because some things don't come with machines for free motion quilting. So older machines, you need aftermarket parts um, for free motion quilting and so on and so forth. So give me a second to get up. I'm going to get up and show you where I sew when it comes to pulling this little table out and so on and my chair and all those things. And then you can see how it works with this little table. If all you have is a small little table of what I'm going to show you in the corner of a room with a sewing machine, this can be done. <laughs> so let's show you guys what I'm working with here. Let me move the quilt so that you can see better. All right. So here is this little table that I have. It is actually a fold up sewing table. So as you can see, it is set in. My daughter actually got this for me from Goodwill. It has a little drawer to keep things in. The machine just sits on here. Oops, sorry. Right next to it like that and it just slides up into the corner. Those legs underneath fold up and under, all of them. Okay, and the machine sits on there nicely. There's only so much room right here. It's literally, I don't know, I would say about 14 inches, 16 at the most, but I don't think it's that big. And from the back side, there's not much space. I have a little throw around cutting mat here. That's why it has that there. But other than that, that's what it looks like. And due to me using big spools of thread for quilting, um, I just hook it onto an external um, thing, which can be found online. But you can use small spools on the sewing machine. So I use a Brother SQ. 285. This I mainly use it for monogramming, but for now I'm just going to use it for this. Um, chair wise, this is all I have. It is a fold up chair. See? It folds up. If I could fold it. There we go. It's a fold up chair. But I put a back, it's like a, I don't know, a chair or chair brace for a car, I think. It's just, it's bent. And then I put a cover thing out of fabric that I made on top of it just to go over the whole thing. So it's just a fold-up chair with a back support brace thingy and that's good enough for me. That's what I started out with so that chair just kind of goes everywhere with me <laughs> from every room that I've ever portably took my machine. So this is my setup just for today. Normally I'm over there and that chair, which sinks too bad, that's why I chose to use this small machine. My bar height chair now has like this indentation in it and it's very hard to sit in. It's killing my back, so I definitely am not going to use that. Let me run over here real quick. So, when it comes to things needed, we're going to sit back down right here. Okay, so when it comes to the things that some machines do and some machines don't come with, this machine right here, this brother, and i got to move the camera again, came with an um, extension table. It's not very big. It's to just make the area a little bit bigger for your hands. So it makes it a little bit easier. But since I have this little table, it sits in perfectly. But it does come with an extension table. So if yours doesn't come with one, I actually 100% highly suggest checking your thrift stores because they, thrift stores and flea markets and wherever you can get things like used furniture and stuff. These little tables, my daughter got this for $9 at the thrift store. $9. So, and it's, it's sturdy. It, I mean, it's sturdy as it gets. It's got little rubber things on the bottom. Um, it holds this machine perfectly. Now, it does not hold the Juki. I mean, it holds the Juki, but the Juki is a little bit too big, and it vibrates the table, like, really bad. So, I don't suggest free motion quilting with that size machine, but if you have just a little domestic brother, singer, Kenmore, whatever, you name it, Janome, any of those machines, they will all fit on this because this is an any machine 
type deal here, you know, so it, it doesn't matter. And unless you have one of these, an extension table, then you can set it on your kitchen table or anywhere and have that same equal surface for quilting. So that is something that is needed. So, um, I mean, you can free motion quilt without it. it. It is possible. Your quilt will just hang over and you don't have much hand space. So the movement is a little bit different, if that makes any sense when it comes to that. So just watch out for that. Secondary to that, oops, that's the wrong one. I need this little tub. You're going to need a free motion quilting foot. See that? This is a free motion quilting foot. This is the foot that typically comes with most machines now. Let me hold it way up here because I'm definitely. This is the one that comes with most sewing machines now. It looks like this. So this is a free motion quilting foot or darning foot, however you want to call it. And it hooks on the machine quite easily. I don't like those. Personal preference. I like the metal ones with round holes. So let's see if you could see. This one has a little indent in it. Come on, focus. This one has an indentation in it so that your needle can be, you know, you know where your needle is going to be aligned. It is the same exact mechanism as this one completely except this one has a slide-in bar at the top and this one has a rounded clip on it, but they both have the spring and so on and so forth. So they both do the exact same thing. Then there is the one that I have on the machine. The one that I have on the machine has an open tote. See that? So it goes open. Again, it's the same exact thing. It is like an ovally circle, but it has an open toe. So you can see I can put my scissors right there in the middle of it. It's open. I prefer open toe feet. And if you go on Leah Day's channel, she actually shows you how to cut out in between these two red notches to turn this foot into an open toe foot. So you can definitely go check that out. That one's on Leah Day. It's an old video. Goodbye. Okay, hold on two seconds. All right, the girls are leaving right now, so let me say goodbye. You want to say hi and goodbye? Say hi to everybody. Hi, goodbye. Hi, goodbye. Hi, goodbye. Okay, give me a hug. Give me a kiss. I love you. I see you Tuesday. Okay, yep, I love you. Okay. All right, sorry about that. So, I, I prefer the open toe foot, the metal one. Just so you know that there's tons of different feet. Again, these come with the newer machines, the Brothers, Singers, Janomis, so on and so forth. And some of them probably look a little bit different, but these are typically what I've been getting with every machine that I have been got that I have gotten in the last four years. So this is the one I got. When I order separately, because the machine didn't come with one, like the machines that I had prior to this when I first started free motion quilting and or any machine that is older, these are the ones that you can use. And this part right here goes above the, um, the, the, screw, the needle screw. It goes above that, the bar. So these are the after feet. And you can find these Amazon, eBay, Etsy. You can find them everywhere. So that's just something for you to know for those that are beginners. That if you want to start free motion quilting, and you feel you're ready, but you don't have a newer machine, you can get an aftermarket foot for your machine. Um, let's see, is there anything else? Oh, well, this only has five inches of space. So that's another thing. Um, I don't know what else to say, because there's not really much that you need, just the free motion quilting or darning foot, and that's it. <laughs> and, a, and a table or a tray or something that gives you one flat surface. So... Um, let me check some comments, see who else is here. Uh, oh my goodness, there's lots of writing. Okay. Um, everyone's saying hi. No easier said than done. Hi, Karen. Uh, Charlotte's storming here. No power at this time. Well, don't kill your device being on here hanging out with me. Just so you know. If you don't have no power, save it just in case of an emergency. It's always always good we get sometimes in the summertime power goes out everywhere and 
I try not to use one device out of all the devices, one of them, which is one that can make phone calls, is usually the one that doesn't get used. <laughs> Other than that, I'll use tablets and stuff. But if there's no power, then you have no Wi-Fi, so you can't use tablets and TVs. Um, thank you for the reminder on the thumbs up, Linda. Um, hi, Cherise. Uh, let's see, is that, it's a very old, I don't know how old it is, but it's falling apart. There's a lot of chunks taken out of it, like, in the corners, but it works for what I need it for, so, which is perfect, because I won't have to drag this machine, I mean, one hand, this machine weighs nothing. Sorry, it was getting stuck in there on the cable that hooks. This machine weighs nothing, so this one I, I don't mind dragging around if I had to, but... I don't want to, so that's, you know, <laughs> I don't want to drag it around. Um, let's see, my first quilting was done on an old Kenmore. I did a queen on it. It was a pain, but it's doable. Yes, exactly. Kim did a 72 by 90 on her Topaz 25, and it turned out well getting ready to do a queen size. See, it's, it's definitely doable. Even if you're just straight stitching, you can still quilt on these little machines. So that's what I did until I got a bigger machine, so... Um, let's see, Kathleen, I split a seat open and used my pillow to restuff it. It did not work long, but yes, I know. Yeah, these, this chair, I don't know. I've been dragging it. It started in the garage and ended up in my bedroom, and now it's in here. So it gets dragged around everywhere I need it. Hi, Linda. Um, June has a four-foot table to sew on and a six-foot table for cutting. Perfect. That's perfect sizes. You can even use a clamp on the side of the table besides machine to keep up up from sliding off if it's necessary. Another thing that's cool actually I gotta say about this table is I can actually pull this up next to my bed and so in bed by just pressing the start and stop button. <laughs> so when I really 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 am lazy but want to sew this can actually go right next to my bed and I can sew with it. I can even put half of it on my bed, leave the other legs down on the floor and the other half on the bed and just rest it on my body like a TV tray or something. Works perfect. Um, hi Pam, you can use an embroidery foot, can't you? Yeah, I think embroidery feet are the same as darning feet and the free motion quilting feet. I don't have an embroidery machine, nor have I owned one, but I know they come with them because there are um, a lot of, there's a couple machines that I looked at that were free motion quilt, or they call them quilting, sewing, embroidery, all in one machines. Um, I looked at a couple of those before getting this one, but all I needed was the alphabet, which only has one size, so I never, I, I was kind of upset about that yesterday. I was on the place where I bought my other sewing machine and my long arm. Oh, they had the perfect machine for me, and the monogramming is two sizes, but I really think I just want to the next machine will be embroidery, you know, when it comes to that. But I only use them for tags, but I, if I had an embroidery machine, I'd probably use it for beyond that. Um, let's see, Nina just got a table from Amazon really cheap a couple weeks ago. Machine drops in, cut out a hole, really big help. Look under sewing table. Yeah, there's sewing tables all over. There's probably even some on eBay or Craigslist, or if people even use Craigslist anymore, they probably do. Um, or Facebook Marketplace. I mean, look everywhere. These so easy to find. There's I've seen like 30 or 40 of them since I got this one from Alexa. They're I, they're they're everywhere. So and they're not just like this. There's some that are closed in, like the whole front. You just sit the machine in it. Um, there's one that had a clip tray. You know, like the front clips back in it. Has like a little slide so that the machine doesn't come out once it's in. So they have all different kinds of tables. Just make sure that the space, when you're quilting, that you have an extension table and or a table that the machine is flush to. This isn't 100% flush, but it'll do. I don't need it to be perfect. Um, got it up. Kmart. Uh, does anybody use... Oh, you can use quilting gloves. Um, hold on, that's the subject I didn't cover. So they have machine girls gloves, which usually look like this. Don't mind mine. They are very dirty because I used to do this all the time. These kind of, after a while, they, they the stretch runs out. But um, I have the Angela Walters ones. They're called quiltgloves.com. You can get them. I usually quilt without gloves, but I do sometimes use them. This is a three-finger glove. 
So it goes on just three fingers and it has little grippy dots. Uh, I'm trying to get it to focus. So these little grippy dots help on the fabric. I've used these quite a few times. These are quite easy because you can still grab the thread because you have an open finger instead of the thread getting stuck on your fingers like it does with these white gloves. And well, they're less dirty and they're more pretty and decorative <laughs> instead of dirty and dirty. But yeah, they have um, special gloves for quilting. So that's another thing. If you, if you don't feel comfortable with your hands on the fabric or you don't feel like you have enough grip or callus on your hands, then look into some gloves. Or if you're a, a person that lotions constantly, your hands are going to be super slick. So that's not going to work. Um, with free motion quilting, I know because I lotion a lot in the winter time. So, <clears throat> hi Suzanne, received your pattern this week. Awesome! I hope everybody got their gifts. The for those of you who won, um, and those of you who did not contact me, that's I'm sorry, but I closed it as of today. What's the 16th? Yeah, today's the 16th. Yeah, so it was closed as of today. If nobody contacted me back, I think there's only two people, so it's okay. Um, I got a ladder, ladder desk at a yard sale, cool, one dollar, the guy was kind enough to bring it to your house, I love, still need a flat surface around the machine, awesome, hi Ellen, had a family emergency come up, I still need your so help, okay, just let me know, um, let's see, they're saying hi, okay, I'm trying to teach myself a new machine, just bought a sewing machine, where I could take classes. It's about an hour away. I have a Bernina 570 QB. Awesome. So yeah, you just take classes if you need to for those of you who want classes. Uh, Nita uses dining room table. Hi Teresa. Hi Shirley. Hi T. <laughs> um, let's see. What's your favorite method for basing a quilt sandwich on a domestic? I like to spray. I don't care what anyone says. I like to spray, but I do not, absolutely do not like to spray in this closed room. If the room is closed, I do not spray in here. That's the sucky part. So like big quilts, when I, when I was spray basting everything to quilt um, back then, I have this big huge design floor that I can lay down. It's a bunch of cardboard that was all put together and made a design floor. I move my car out of the garage, I lay my design floor on the floor so that nothing's on the garage floor, and I lay the quilt out on it and I just spray baste out there because I cannot stand the smell of the spray baste in here and since I've been sicker, no spray basting. So this quilt that I'm about to do, this has just some pins in it. They're not even safety pins. I just put regular pins in this little project. <coughs> <clears throat> and this is the back. It's just little teddy bears. Girl and boy bears. So this it's not it's barely pinned because it's not really I wasn't I was just in a hurry last week to do this with Becca, but I never um haven't been feeling too well, so I never got a chance to get going on it. So I'm just gonna get going on it now instead of whenever. <laughs> um Everyone's saying hi. Hi, Luann. Um, my machine can add. My machine can add an embroidery, but I'm sure it's really expensive. I'm almost 60 years old, and I splurged. I feel guilty. <laughs> I didn't know there's machines that you can and can't embroider on. That's kind of cool, actually. Um, a metal smith uh, kitchen tables from the 70s. Solid work table. But in the garage, graduate tools, chemicals, not in the dining room. Yeah, I would never spray my spray base in the dining room, or in the living room or dining room because um, we have the laminate hardwood floor and that sticky stuff from the spray base don't come off. It comes off on my carpet if when I do spray small projects in here and it, I don't care in the garage. And I've done it outside on the back patio with my design floor. Um, so my little portable design floor, it's not little, it's actually really huge. But um, I tend not to do it in closed spaces because I'm very sensitive to smell and chemical right now. So I don't do anything. I don't even use perfume or deodorant because I can't stand it. It absolutely kills my smell. 
looks cute on me. Oh, thank you, Teresa. Um, it's very comfortable, too. It's, it's one of those comfortable dresses. It actually has an elastic waist right here at the hip. So it kind of gives it that 60s, 70s style look right here. It's kind of cute. I like it. I like dresses in the in the summertime. Um, Karen O'Boy's new way you rub on your hands and don't need gloves. Oh yeah, and I've read that there's some stuff that you put on your hands that, for no gloves. Hi, Melinda. Um, I bought a pair of garden gloves at the dollar store. That works too. That actually is probably the cheapest route. And if you are like a lot of people in thrifty, that's the best route to go. Uh, three and everyone's saying hi. Absolutely love the homemade basting spray. Um, five or six days, I'm having internet problems. Really bad internet problems. Um, I lost the internet like ten times yesterday trying. To um, I watched I watched Becca the other night, she lost my internet, I was watching So Yeah, lost my internet, it just keeps going off and off and off, and it's quite annoying, so, um, this, this is I just put this on data, but I don't know how long my phone is going to work on data, <laughs> so let's get to some quilting, shall we, I'm going to tip the camera down in a second, this Scott's in here, this isn't, oh, hold on, give it, ah, I'm stuck to pins, stuck to pins, okay, I gotta remember, they're pokey. They're so pokey. Oh, it's because the internet's lost, so you're not even gonna this. Oh. Well, I'm on data. Hold on, guys. I gotta turn the internet off and on for Scott, because he can't even read comments, if that's the case, and I won't see comments. The TV's working just fine. That's weird, then. That's because the TV pre-downloads. All right, so I'm gonna tip the camera down, and we're gonna Zoom in so you can see some free motion quilting. And I'm just going to start. Oops, well, that's too zoomed. That's too zoomed. Here we go, right about there. Tip this up just a smidge. You guys should be able to see what I'm doing because I'm using bright pink thread also. So I'm going to sit myself up to this. We're going to wait for that internet to kick on so Scott can see don't have no idea why everything is what's going on here at this house, but it just is. Our internet isn't the only one, remember? The neighbors went out yesterday. Yep. The whole town had no internet yesterday. Um, because one of the service companies. Yeah, for an hour and a half, one company was out. Alright, I want my pokies to face this way. <laughs> so that I, I can feel it easier with this hand. Alright. What I'm going to do is I am going to find a place right here in a seam, and this is middle actually, and I'm going to take that pin away, and I am going to find my thread we'll right there. Box out there. Yeah. Well, this one's on red still. So. Well, is this connected to this one or the box out there? Right. Um... No. This one is connected to the box. Oh, it's green again. It should be working. Your tablet, is it connected to out here and there? I have no idea. Oh. Give me two seconds, guys. We're trying to figure this out because I don't see any comments or anything when it's not working. I don't know how to turn the U to change the... CJ's not here to do that for me. That's okay. He's the only one that knows how, but it should work now. It's okay. It says it's on. Yeah, well, that's right over there. All right. All right, so I am going to drop my needle right here. I'm just going to, I'm going to bring up my bobbin thread to the top. If I can grab it with my finger. There we go. And then I'm going to slide it back under here, drop the needle down, and my presser foot is going to go down. I'm going to take a couple stitches right here in this spot very slowly. Also going to snip away my threads with this open toe foot. It helps because I can just pull the threads close to me and snip those threads away. Is it not working yet? No. Box out there seems to be fine. Okay, let's turn that on the box then. Just go to settings. I, I don't know where they are. All right. What I'm going to do is I think I'm just going to 
randomly just quilt stuff just so you guys can see how I move around and blah, blah, blah. I'm not really teaching, like I said, but you can still see what I'm doing. I'm just going to randomly quilt so that way you can see what I'm doing and how I'm doing it. Um, I have my machine on super fast. I already checked the tension earlier. It was perfectly fine. This one good thing about these machines, you can free motion quilt back to straight sewing again over and over and over because the tension really doesn't mess up unless you mess it up. Um, the bottom will have eyelashes if you push too fast, faster than you're pressing on your pedal. If you move your hands way too fast than your sewing machine is going, then you're going to have eyelashes, puckers, blah, blah, blah in the bottom. So just watch out for that. I'm going to just take my sweet time and Wi-Fi keep off. Did you turn to keep off only? I don't know. Where? Right here. Oh. The keep off isn't working. See if it's working on the phone. Oh, the, that's back on. Yeah, the phone's back on. Phone's back on. Just do your thing. Okay, this says it's on too, so let's try this again. Sorry, guys. I told you about the internet. Just press play, see what happens. I have no control over today's horrible internet. All right. So now I'm just... I made a swirl right here. I'm going to take my... And this has no stitch regulator. You are your stitch regulator. All right, so I kind of like surpassed my little area of where I started. So I have like a little swirl right here, and I'm just going to fill in whatever I fill in. And I started from the middle. Made it easier to start from the middle, so that way all the bulk of things, if you were doing big projects, is over quick. So... This is like my little refresher here, because I don't do this anymore. <laughs> well, nothing's popping up on your phone or anyone's saying anything, so I guess I'm good. Because this is still not connecting. Oh my goodness. Do I need oil? I don't know why it sounds like this. It definitely needs something because it sounds like I never use it. Quite squeaky. thing down. It is pretty darn squeaky. Yeah. Am I still working? That's said that you're going. No one's saying anything though. Your time's still running. You got 57 people watching. 31 thumbs up. Alright, let's go. Do comments not pop up on here? It does. It should pop up. I haven't seen one the whole time I've been in here. Okay, hold on, guys. We're going to try to fix something because there's no comments coming up. Where's the comment button? Aha, there's the comment. So just tap the screen like that. And if someone says something, probably yeah, needs cleaning, probably and needs cleaning and oil. oil. Needs something. <clears throat> Yeah, I'm like seriously gonna have a horrible video today. And it's blurry, isn't it? Is it blurry? Are you guys blurry? Doesn't look blurry here, oh. but I don't know. This is from your phone, doesn't look blurry. Uh, Jim says if he doesn't use his brother machine for a while, it sounds rough when he goes back to it. Yeah, I haven't used this in, since the last time I monogrammed. Teresa <laughs> says no, you're not blurry. 
I think okay. she's saying no to you anyway. I don't know. This mm -hmm. is really annoying standing back here, though. Let's go see about this thing. See if my phone or something will work. Yeah, try your phone. Yeah, try your phone. That'll work. Sorry, we're having so many issues. Oh, look, we got something going here. What a commercial? Just press skip ad when it comes on. Oh. All right. So I'm just kind of messing around here. Gonna just fill in all my space out with tons of stuff. That's why this one's circle, and I was wondering what was going on why this one wasn't. Now I think you're back. Sorry, guys. Cannot control it. Is it facing down here? Yeah. Off and on. Okay. Well, I'm gonna finish what I'm doing here. Mm -hmm. Since I've come in the room, this is the fourth time I had to reconnect you. Yeah. I'm too, but. We're going to turn and hope that it connects to the good Wi-Fi. If I lose you for a second, just stay calm. I'm trying to connect a different Wi-Fi. Okay, it seems to be good. Seems to be working. Come on. This is horrible. Ouch. Mm. Come on. Give me a keyboard, please. Oh, maybe it won't. There it goes. And it didn't do it. No. Okay. Look at that, guys. We should be good for who knows how long. I connected to a different internet. All right. Well, we're back to our internet instead of the phone's internet. Which our internet's still crap. <laughs> okay, let's see what I did here. I'll go back. Okay, let me get it going and I'll tell everyone. Goodbye. Well, it's back on. It's going off and on. Oh. It's back on already. Maybe it's all the kids doing the school stuff since it is Sunday night. Since school is all online, whatever. Okay. Is it Sunday on still? night? It's off and on. Okay, let's just it's, end because you're it's... going off and on right now. You're still on. You can do something, but no, I've been on for 42 minutes, and all we're having is nothing but problems today. All right, I'm gonna tip this up. Why don't we just put it off for? Either another hour or else just do it tomorrow. That's, that's fine. Just tell everyone you'll come back tomorrow or else another hour. I'm just going to tie it, pull this away, come back, drop my needle. Yeah, we did the same thing. I have everything turned off in the whole house. Alright. I don't have a computer or anything on. I have all the TVs off, everything. I don't know if you're even going to be able to see what I did here. at least. Nope, that's not seeable. From the back side, it is seeable. Oh, that's pretty. Yes, it's seeable. Oh, let's unzoom. That's why it looks so funny. What's showing up good on the tablet. Now everything's working now that we're... <laughs> Come on. Oh, man. This is going to really make me mad. Everybody's saying very pretty. Okay. So I haven't done this in a while, so that's where I'm at.
yeah, the long arm is definitely better. <laughs> My pebbles suck. Those are the most horriblest pebbles ever. No, they're not. That looks good. They're horrible. Everyone's saying it's pretty. The look of it is pretty cool, but it definitely is uh, horrible. So that's where I'm at so far. Back into the whole trying to quilt on a sit down. All right, let's tip this back down. There we go. That's where you can see me. All right. Due to unforeseen internet, actually, I knew it was going to happen. I had this strong feeling it was going to happen. Due to internet issues, I'm going to cut tonight's video short, but that is okay. Well, why don't we just take a break and um, eat, and you can come back and see how not, it is in another hour. I have hour. a feeling that it's working with now. the government making all kids do schoolwork on, at home on the computer, it's eaten up the computer if we don't pay for some you know hundred and fifty dollar a month internet service to have the best of the best we have horrible internet because it's everybody is using internet at the same time and it doesn't help that it's like 117 degrees outside so that really it makes it hot because everything's hot you know a cell phone doesn't work very good outside in the heat so you gotta think the well, the kids is, are doing their homework on Sunday night. Everyone's doing their homework on Sunday night, trying to cram it in before tomorrow to Because everything's in, online so. now, so they have to do all their homework online. Um, I'm just no going to leave this as is, and I'll come back to it. Um, you don't want to come back tonight? You want to do it no. tomorrow, then? I'll just do it another time. Well, um, then we'll try and come back tomorrow. We'll try to that? come back tomorrow, but if the internet is cruddy, uh, whatever. But if it, does anybody have any questions before I get off and hope that I don't get cut off trying to answer questions? So far, it's working. You still got if 50 people watching. If you guys have watching. questions I can answer, like, you know, whatever you want to ask. They're all saying it's beautiful. They say it's not horrible. It looks great. Uh, I'm I'm very judgmental on my stuff, <laughs> especially when I haven't done it in a long time on a squeaky machine. My tension looks great. My strength is quite consistent, except in one area. But... It's definitely, um... Yeah, Kathleen says, you're coming in great now. <laughs> right? After all of this, and I decide I want to get off, you know. Oh, Kathleen, Kat, Catherine Zuber got her pattern. Thank you, Catherine. All right. Well, if anybody doesn't have any questions or anything, I'm just going to get off of here. This is going to be the shortest So Sunday ever. <laughs> Which is Kathleen okay. says, if you're that unhappy with it, send it to her. Here, how about this? We'll do the pussycat dance. Oh, oh. Because he's in here. <laughs> and he oh, never gets to be on Mommy's you. stuff. Ever. You have bad breath. You have bad breath. You have bad breath. He never gets to be in here Mommy's is stuff. That, is that a sewing machine? You want to be the sewing kitty? We he's getting a, a haircut video. tomorrow, too. Ready? I'm the quilting kitty. He's getting, a, <laughs> he's getting a haircut tomorrow. All right, for a ball. His name is Thumper, Go. for all of you. Yeah. We we're wondering. He's a furry disaster. That is why he's not allowed in here. But because well, the he's door getting is a haircut open, tomorrow. Whew. It's all over me. Anyway. They say you're coming in great now. <laughs> and if I start quilting, it'll stop again. Just watch. That's that's why I've decided to just get off of here. So if nobody has any questions, I am one hundred percent glad that you all came and joined for the shortest so Sunday ever by Tiffany's quilting life because Normally it's long. Anyway, um, if you are new to my channel, head down that way. Subscribe, like, share my videos. Um, and don't forget, every Sunday, 5 p.m., rain or shine, sick or not sick, uh, internet or no internet, I figure out a way to come and hang out with you guys. Uh, and, and anything else, I haven't really been doing much because it's been hard. Oh, update on information. I have my CTA scan on Tuesday. For those that have been praying and worrying, CTA scans Tuesday. So from Tuesday beyond, I don't know how soon surgery will be. I just know that it's Tuesday. So things are, the ball is getting moved and things are happening. <laughs> Suzanne says, don't leave us. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to get out of here. I thank you guys for joining my short video. Hopefully you guys at least got some inspiration to... Sit down at your machines for the rest of the day and do some quilting. So well, maybe you can come on I later will, again tonight. Maybe I'll come on tonight because he's really begging me to come on later tonight. So well, all these we'll people, see. Yeah. <laughs> you jumped from fifty to sixty-one maybe. people. <laughs> all 
All right, guys. Now I love you. Thank you guys working. for joining. Can you press the X on the side? Yes, I see. I got it. Just give me a second. Your phone doesn't cooperate. Are you sure you want to quit? Okay.